Lord, somebody, you can do better than that. Show your head back, open your mouth, and give the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth a strong praise in this house. Come on, you can do better than that. Shout a high praise tonight. Come on, shout a glory, hallelujah. Shout a glory, thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and give God one more praise in this house. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. Reach to the person next to you and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you. You are at the right place, at the right time for your miracle. Come on and smile and say, hello, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you. You are at the right place. At the right time for your breakthrough, clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. Come on, smile and say, glad to see you in the presence of the Most High God. Tell your neighbor, I may come here if you take it. I may not go and lift it. I'm here to take it by force. Clap your hands and praise the Lord Jesus Christ for he is good and his mercies endure it forever while you remain standing please turn the Bibles with me to the gospel according to Matthew God is a good God Matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 to verse 10 somebody say Matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 to verse 10. When you are there, just shout a glory. Kind of a little bit weak. Let me first take this privilege to greet the Spirit of God, who is the source of my life. The holy angels that are in and around this building sent forth to minister to them that are years of salvation. Greet Bishop Williams, a hallelujah daddy in Christ, and Mother Williams, glory to God and minister, God bless you, God bless you. And all the wonderful saints of the Most High God and visiting friends, I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus and the different platforms. Hallelujah. Welcome to King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Welcome to the chapel where the fire is hot. God is a good God. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, the enemy would have destroyed us quickly. But thanks be to God for his grace and his mercies that is on us tonight. Somebody wave your hands and tell the Lord Jesus, thank you. Ah, hallelujah. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 5. Amen. And when Jesus entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go. And he goeth. And to another come. And he cometh. And to my servant do this. And he doeth it ten and last. When Jesus heard it. He marveled and said unto them that followed. Verily I say unto you. I have not found so great faith. No. Not in Israel. Holy Spirit. Not among the Sanhedrin. 
not among the priests, not among the scribes and the Pharisees, not among the apostles that is walking with Jesus. No, not in Israel. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, God that sits betwixt the cherubims, God that declare, let there be light. Ah, glory to you, Lord Jesus. That declare, let there be light, and there was light. Here we are in your house one more time. Thank you for your grace that pull us together tonight. Father, please, in the name of Jesus, speak, release a word in this atmosphere. Give victory to your church. Fight on behalf of your people. Give our ranking angels charge. Let them do our fear. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for victory. Victory is in your efficacious blood. Victory is in your name, Father. We thank you. Arise, please, Holy Father. Let all your enemies be scattered. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and put a praise on that right now. Come on, put a praise on that right now. Victory is in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hands. And give the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth a strong praise in this house. He's worthy. If there is none like him, he's Yahweh. He's Yahshua. Hallelujah. Before you take your seat, I want you to look at four people. Look them dead in the eyes and say, neighbor. My good neighbor. Great faith is in the house tonight. Come on, warriors. Great faith. Somebody said, no greater faith. Oh, Shia. Come on, man. Say something. Somebody said, no greater faith. No greater faith. Clap your hands and praise him. Clap your hands and lift him up tonight. Slap that seat and say, no greater faith. And sit down in great faith, please. Sit down in great faith. God is a good God. And there is none like him. He's Lord of our lives. I've been preaching from a few weeks on faith. I speak of the mustard seed faith. Mustard seed faith. I speak of faith that is called small faith or little faith. We see Jesus preach once he was walking on the water and there was a storm on the sea and the apostles thought it was a spirit. But somebody said, no, it is the Lord. Peter got up and declared, if it be the Lord, bid me to come. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water. And while he was walking on the water towards Jesus Christ, he saw the waves and the wind that it was boisterous. He took his eyes off Jesus and began to look at what was around him and he began to sink. Jesus reached out his hand and caught him before he went under. And Jesus said, Oh, you of little faith 
So there we see there is a faith that God described as little. When uh, there is a word over your life and you're walking on the word and you allow the things around you to distract you from your word, God calls you little faith. We see Jesus been preaching one day and he declared that you must not worry about the things you don't have. You must not worry over clothes and food, what you wear and what you eat and where you live because the Gentiles are the ones who worry about that. And then Jesus said, oh, you have little faith. So if you are worrying about the simple things like food and clothes and where you live, it simply means your faith is a baby, little faith. Because if you come to God, you must understand who you serve. And as long as you have a knowledge of God, you know he will take care of you. He takes care of the sparrows in the air. And he takes care of the lily in the field. How much more will he take care of you that belongs to him? He died for little faith. Ah, we see that. Glory to God that Jesus was walking and he declared he pulled out a seed. Call somebody, farmers. And he called somebody and he, he said, I want you to understand that when you're walking with me, if you have faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be plucked up and be cast in the midst of the sea and it shall be so. Because your faith carries substance. Uh -huh. I'm not here to talk to you about little faith today. No, that's not my topic. Uh, I'm not here to talk about mustard seed faith, neither. Uh, it's kind of a little bit there. But uh, I want to speak to you about the highest level of faith. That's what I want to talk to the church about tonight. Somebody said great faith. I want to talk to you about great faith because there was a woman, she was a Canaanite. And the Bible said that uh, Jesus was there with his disciples preaching. And the woman show up and the woman began to talk. She said, Lord, Lord. And Jesus didn't answer her a word. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's kind of it's 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 a little bit hard to understand because the disciples were with Jesus for years and they have never called him Lord. Here comes a Gentile oh Lord coming from Canaanite Cain, 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 Cain and now the first time she see him she's addressing him as Lord. His disciples are there with him but they call him Master. And not Lord, is there's a difference with the two. All right, all right, and so we see now she's addressing him as Lord. Then she prayed, she said to him, Lord, my daughter is at home, she's grievously vexed with a devil. Please, I'm asking you to fix my situation. Jesus didn't answer her. Jesus keep walking. The Bible said then because Jesus, uh, Jesus didn't answer her. She turned to the apostles and, uh, and she began to ask the apostles, please, can you talk to Jesus on my behalf? 
And the Bible said they sent her away. I want to talk about it a little bit because if, if God call you and, and somebody comes with their condition, their problem, is it that I am such, I am not at that level, so I know who to send away, from who to go to Jesus, and what I should throw away and what I should bring to Jesus. Well, the apostles oh, sent her away. But there's something about this woman even when the apostles reject her or send her away she still push oh shall touch your neighbor so we're talking about great faith tonight please we're pushing great faith tonight touch somebody tell them we're talking about great faith tonight please and so this woman now she approached jesus the second time and she said to him you're a Apostles, send me away. But Lord, please, I'm begging you to fix my daughter at home. And Jesus said, it's not me to take the children's bread. I know you're Bible scholars. I'm wondering, but don't remember. Please remember, I know you hear it already, but there's somebody sitting beside you that haven't heard it yet. So please, please don't say Bishop preach it all the time. Shut your mouth because there's somebody that needed to. You know, some people come to church and, and they believe because they hear it already, I should not say it again. They are so selfish. You know, some people that come to church, when they come down and under pressure, they don't mind the time. They don't want the service to over until Bishop reached to them. So 12, 1, 2 o'clock, they don't mind. No time is on their mind. They just want their touch. They just want their deliverance. But after they receive theirs, oh Lord, now Bishop is preaching too long. Oh Lord, Bishop, not using wisdom time. Oh, but slap your neighbor, say, you are watching that now. Somebody sitting beside you. That is not here watching no time. They are waiting patiently for a move of God in their lives. So sit down and let me preach it. Somebody never hear it. So let me talk to the church. There is three levels in the church. You have baby level and you have Man, boy level and then you have man level you have you have you have, you have, you have leaves then you have so you first have leaves on the tree then you have blossoms and you have a fruit tree level touch somebody tell them three levels 30 fold 60 fold and 100 fold so sit tight oh, Jesus so when you come the Bible talk about the land the land that flows this is the land you're sitting in and in this land you have milk and you have honey so you have milk for baby Christians and you have honey for adult Christians so the preaching teach have to know how to spread the two because somebody is babe and somebody is mature so when you hear me go back and teach again sit tight and consider that you are in the land that flows with both can i talk to the church please oh touch your neighbor say sit tight and so now the lady cry out and jesus said it's not meat to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs meat mean good it's not right it's not good to take the children's bread bread is healing in scriptures he said healing is the children's bread so it's not good for me to take the bread the healing and the children is Israel, the people of God. So it's not good for me to take the healing that belongs to the children of God and give it to dogs. And you are the dogs. Because God called those who are out of covenant dogs and sorcerers. So Jesus was pointing on her. He was calling her dog because she's a Canaanite. Oh Lord, can we talk please? All right let's have some church we're having church tonight slap your neighbor so we're gonna have church tonight 
So sit and let's have church again. All right now. So he said it's not good to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. It's not good for me to take the healing that belongs to covenant people and give it to people who are out of covenant with me. But then the woman, after she got that insult, after God called her dog, after God said I'm not giving the food for the dog for the children to dogs the bible said the woman turned and said to jesus fool lord oh lord jesus when he said lord he said adonai when he said lord he said my creator when he said lord he said my owner so when she said true lord she's saying i know that i am a dog but you are the owner and the one that owned the children is the same one that owned the dog and if you are responsible to feed the children then you are responsible to feed it I feel him in my hands already. <laughs> Sit tight. We're having church. I told you that about three times. So now Jesus said, <laughs> when the woman said, true Lord, it's not <laughs> uh, the children. Jesus said, it is not good to give the bread to the, ch the dogs. <laughs> she said, true Lord. <laughs> but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table oh jesus she was saying daddy you see if you don't want to cut me a slice just give me what fall from the table because anything is on the table is good anything is on the table is fresh anything is on the table have nutrient so if it fall from the table anything the children is eating it might not be enough but i'm eating the same thing and anything is in the bread is in the crumbs oh jesus uh, we are at the church are you here with me please now when she said that jesus stood still oh shy and jesus turned around and jesus said hey this is not an ordinary fit you know oh shy this kind of fit is not among you peter james and john this kind of faith is not among the apostles is not in the temple this kind of faith i call it great uh, who are the warriors in here is kind of a little bit fuller it's kind of tight it's still a little bit stiff but god says this type of faith is called great faith remember i told you about there's different kinds of faith you know remember i teach in previous service that you have a faith that is called the gift of faith i told you there's one that is called the faith and the third one is called the measure of faith when you talk about the gift of faith that comes with the baptism of the holy ghost it's a supernatural ability to believe god for the things that are impossible that only come divinely that one comes with the baptism just like how when you get the holy ghost you can get the gift of healing that come divinely it's a supernatural move and like prophecy it comes with the baptism of the holy ghost mm -hmm. so there is a gift name of faith when you get that it supercharges you it gives you abilities like you will walk out there and the rain is falling and you get a supernatural moving your spirit that god want rain to stop you just open your mouth and agree with god rain Oh, Shia, and the heavens got to roll back because your faith connect with the will of God. That's the gift.
sit down that's one faith then the second faith is called the faith now the faith is the belief the true belief the faith is the concept they call it shima that there is one god the faith come on somebody is that one belief that abram isaac and jacob hold fast their worship the one eternal God they call it in the Old Testament the Shema Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 hear O Israel Shamaya Hamakia Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Ehud hear O Israel that was Hebrew sorry English now hear O Israel the Lord your God is one Lord and it is called the faith and the holy men of old before they die they repeat the faith before Abraham die he hold the faith and cry out I believe in the one God that declared let there be light and there was light then he give up the ghost everybody that was holy in the old testament they repeat the faith before dying and if you don't believe me it was a concept that the new testament church adopt because if you notice before paul died he said to timothy i have fought a good fight finish my course and i kept the Tell me, man, why your mouth closed? The faith. So the concept of one God is what we hold dear. If God ever call you, if God put on apostleship on you, then you will know without a shadow of a doubt that there is one God. It's the same one eternal God who was manifest in Jesus Christ. Jesus, come on. The Father incarnate that's who Jesus is. It is God put on human body to redeem mankind. His glory he will not give to another. For in him dwelleth. Not some all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So slap your neighbor. Say neighbor look on me good. I'm not a Roman Catholic baby. I'm an apostolic. From my head to my toe. I am an apostolic. Shanda. I will never cut it. I will never trim it. I hold up the one God teaching. Everywhere I go. I tell the world. I want the world to know. That there is one Lord. One faith one baptism one god and father who is above all through all and in us all in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being slap your neighbor at your neighbor look on me good i'm a one god apostolic don't talking holy roller born again heaven bound believer in the liberated power of jesus name i'm baptized in the name of jesus christ for the remissions of sin and i carry the holy ghost way down in my belly and i speak with tongues as the holy ghost give it utterance i believe in holiness and i suggest you do the same shake that hand and say that's the faith Shayabasa, Yamasa, Yapapapasa. As I tell the neighbor, that's the faith. Sit down now. Sit down. That was for an Escapolian or a Presbyterian. So they can know who we are. We are. We are a one God, the one God believers. We are the one that they call the shakers. 
Nor the Quakers. Or the tongue talkers. That's we, baby. They tried to stop us, but they couldn't. They tried to kill us all, but they couldn't. They throw us, throw us in lion's den, but they couldn't stop us. We are them that they talk about. We hide in caves and catacombs. We are still here, though. Oh, they try everything, but they couldn't get us out. We are here. We are here. Touch somebody, tell them we are here. They hate us, but we are here. They call us witchcraft workers, but we are here. We are the apostolics. We are the warriors. Are you in church? Can't stop us. This is that which was spoken. All right, sit tight now. Let's go in. Tell somebody that's the second faith. So the first faith is called the gift of faith. The second faith is called the faith. Now tonight I want to talk about the third faith. And it is called the measure of faith. This now is that faith that can grow. You see, there's something about the gift, the, the, the measure of faith. You see, you can start with baby faith. And you shift from baby faith to mustard seed faith. And as person see you two years from now, and you're walking with great faith, it can grow. The faith can grow from glory to glory. You can move from level to level. And there's something bad about the faith, the, 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 this measure of faith. Because you can be one that is walking with great faith today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And tomorrow you fall back at baby faith. Yes. So you got to nourish the faith. And James said you got to contend for the faith. And one scripture said that you got to fight. One said you got to kept, keep God protect the faith. Oh, touch your neighbor say you got to be careful now because it's a measure and it can grow. It can diminish and it can advance. You got to be careful. If you join up with the wrong group, it can shift from down here, up here and come down there. But if you ever connect with somebody that carries a measure that is called great, if you connect Oh, tell somebody faith is like a piece of iron. Shayabasa. You got to make sure your faith is connected with somebody of faith. Oh, Jesus. You see, the faith is like a piece of steel, iron. And no faith, flesh is aboard. You got to be careful now because the two can work together. If somebody's walking by sight, you that walk by faith, you got to be careful because you're not good for each other. Because a piece, a, a sword, let's say a sword, a machete, oh Jesus, and a board can work together. If you use that piece of board, and the machete something bad is happening to both because the board Lord Jesus is breaking up and while the machete is getting dull so the board can work but if you take a piece of steel if you ever get another piece of machete or you ever get Two sword, and you start to connect the boat together. Iron sharpness. You better drag your neighbor and say, Neighbor, I'm walking in my season, and I got to be careful who I connect myself with because iron and board can't work together. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost in my two feet a while ago. I feel God stretching out in my foot. Open your mouth and shine. Iron. Sharpness. Iron. I feel I'm going to have to preach this life three more times, you know. Come on, tell your neighbor. Great faith is needed in these last days. I said, tell your neighbor. Great faith 
is needed in the last days. Jesus called the woman's faith great faith because her faith see no barriers. I told you about a man last night that he was born on a bed by his four friends and when his friends reached the room there was no space in the room they couldn't reach to Jesus I told you yesterday and last night that when faith walk in a room and there is no space to see Jesus great faith will look up and command that roof to move out the way so I can see Jesus face to face I know I'm not right I know I'm not at the place but the woman says to the stiff staunch apostles give me some pass you don't see me qualify to have a conversation with Jesus even when Jesus don't answer my prayer even when Jesus not talking to me even when I'm not feeling the anointing the way I used to feel him mm, great faith have no barrier great faith will push past every hindrance is there anybody in here ever come to church and feel dry like a cornbread Something way down in your belly Telling you to go on Something way down in your belly Like Job, I turn to the right I can't feel him I turn to the left I can't feel him Everywhere I turn He's nowhere to be found But faith was speaking to Job Faith was saying He know the way I take And faith said to him When I come out I'm coming out as pure gold. Is anybody a fear in here that is down in the pit? But fear to speak to your spirit. I said, This one, I will not die in this pit. I will not die in this wilderness. I will not. Shia Basa. Yam Masaya. Shanda. Somebody open your mouth. Take two minutes. And said to the season, it is a season of great faith. Open your mouth, open your mouth for Jesus. Didn't answer her a word. Jesus insulted her. Jesus called her dog. Where are the warriors in here? I said, Jesus called the woman dog. But Jesus could tell her nothing to turn her away. Some of you in church, the least thing happened, you walk away from church. We were going to Kingston. Me, Bishop Williams, Elder Mullins, and Evangelist Blackham. And while we were on the way, we see some church people on the road. I said, we see some church people on the road. And here we are. These are the members we want. Bishop said, Bishop, are the members you want? I said, yes, Bishop, are the members here we want? And, 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 and he said, Bishop, why you want the member here? And I said, see them one here? When them set out for cross, they not turn back. You, know. you, see, you, see, you see, this, this kind of member here? When them walk out, when them step out, I fear them walk out, pan, you know. When they step out, them say death before the sun. I wonder if you know them member there. And some call me and talk about you know. You see, anytime you drive and call step out, you better stop. Because cow not turn back, you know. Them I go cross. You better slap your neighbor, say, look on me good. And me bishop I preach out. Them pick me up. 
them lick me down but me not turn back who am i talking to they lie on me they persecute me they chat me they hug me they throw water by me fire what, what, what? Me not turn back so much a forward still to Jehovah's will go to pillows dash and spray with a concrete somebody push them on somebody press towards the mark for the price of the higher calling you better drop your neighbor and say neighbor I pull you to the next level come on kind of flood kind of flood pull somebody to the next level in faith Jesus said when I return will I find faith oh shire shanda messiah yam messiah tell somebody yes he will find faith because I am here who am I talking to no food on the table but I've got a praise children giving trouble but I've got a praise being rocking the body but that can black my worship I'm walking by faith who am I talking to you better pull your neighbor and say neighbor I don't care who is in your way no retreat no surrender no backing down who am I talking to who am I talking to I don't care who I try to send you out. I don't care who I try to send you out to church. I don't try, I don't care who. These were the men, the clergy. These were the ones who should be gap standards. They were called to take people problem and bring it to Jesus and now when she come with her problem they are sending her away what are you gonna do if the ones who hold the keys are the very ones sending you away you better slap your neighbor and say neighbor I don't care who you are I don't care where you are I don't care what position you hold. I got to see Jesus. Who am I talking to? He alone can help me. Oh, Shia. Shanda, feel the power of God in my belly. Come on. I don't care who send you away. I don't care who insult you. I don't care who lock the church door on you. I don't care who a fight out of church. I don't care who a push out of church. I come here to tell you there's a faith. I said there is a faith. Who am I talking to? There's a faith that is unstoppable. Oh, Shanda Basha. There's a faith that God called great. Can you imagine, man? You push past the great Apostle Peter who God gave the keys. You push past James who is the bishop of the church in Jerusalem. You push past John. Oh, Shia. The beloved and the revelator. And now you are before the king of kings. And you are before the lord of lords. And you say, Lord, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. And only you can deliver my daughter. And Jesus answered her not a word. But she was so persistent that she called again. And when she called again, Jesus didn't answer. She started to worship. She shouted, Hallelujah. Yeah, and Jesus, because he loved worship, Jesus turned around, and the woman now, she gets an audience with Jesus, and now the woman now, she said, Lord, please, you are my Lord, you are my master. Jesus shut her down again with a large insult. I don't give dogs food. 
I don't give the children food to dogs. But the woman carry a faith that is so large. Can I go in, please? The faith that she carry. Remember, she's not asking for nothing for herself. You know? Oh, shy. She was not saying, Lord, me, yes, I hurt me. God, me want to break you. She was not saying, Lord, take out this fibroid. She was talking on behalf of somebody else. And it amazed God. How can one come before me? Shanda Messiah. Not on their own behalf. And they are so persistent. Jesus stopped. And Jesus said. Jesus didn't tell her. I said yes. No. Jesus turned and said. Oi. This kind of faith. And the faith will shut heaven door. Are you coming with me? I feel I want to run in. Can I run please? He said this kind of faith. Is a faith that do something strange. Because now when this woman. Touch me like this. Oh Jesus. The Bible said. And Jesus stood still. Oh, when you get Jesus. To stand still. You see I went to heaven already. And when I went there. Something was downloaded in my spirit. The book of Revelation. Was given to me. And when that book was given to me. Then the Lord shall start to take me through each chapter. From chapter 1 to chapter 2. 22. And when I go through all the different chapters, there is one chapter that blows my mind. In Revelation chapter 8, the Bible said that John was in heaven. And when he looked, John saw the angels. They were worshiping God because heaven is a place that worship never ceases. It's a place that worship. There are different kinds of beings in heaven. You have a certain being that is called seraph. The seraphim, they are the ones that is always in the presence of God. You have a second set that is called cherubim. They are always in the presence of God. And the seraphims is always shouting holy. Holy, holy, holy. So noise is always in heaven. Come on, the man. And the Bible said angels were before the throne. And there were 24 thrones with 24 elders. That was before the throne. And the Bible said that something took place to angel one left from earth and when he reached into heaven he had a vial come on man he have a bowl and the bible said when he go before the throne of God with that vial that bowl inside of the bowl was incense and the incense began to go up before God and inside of the bowl was the prayers of the saints of the most high God but what blows my mind the Bible said that when the angel opened the fire that heaven stood still you're not coming with me anymore the Bible said when the angel opened the bowl that incense began to go up and every angel stopped worship. Every angel stopped dance. Every single angel stood still and the Bible said there was a silence in heaven for half an hour. I come by to say to the church heaven is a noisy place it's a place of worship and praise but there's a time in heaven that heaven stands still and guess what caused heaven to stand still the prayers of faith when the angel 
go before the throne of God and go before the altar of incense and pour out the bowl on the altar of incense the prayers of the saints begin to go up and the Bible said God stand still just to hear the prayer of the saints of God oh Lord I feel something begin to take place in this room come on God said when you go over there you talk to my church and tell my church it's time to make a right about turn take time every day to pray for others God says the fate of this woman is greater than the fate of the 12 apostles. Why? Because this woman she stepped into a dimension that the apostles have not yet been. Because the purpose for the church is to become an intercessor. God called you to be a gap stand. The reason why God pull you out of sin is for you to exercise great faith. And great faith is when you see the needs of somebody else and can take it up and bring it before Jesus. Who am I talking to? You better treat your neighbor. And the neighbor, my good neighbor, take time out every day and pray for somebody, a co worker who seems down, a neighbor who is struggling a family somebody that is battling with cancer God say he's looking for somebody that can bring somebody before the throne of God when you pray for others you are sowing a seed for God to help you can I walk again can I walk again, please? Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, when you bring somebody before the throne, when you pray for others, you are sowing a seed for God to help you. Job had his own needs. Sewer so rack in his body. He lost everything. But the scriptures say, when Job prayed, for his friends his health was restored it seems as if the reason why job was in that state for so long he did not recognize that anytime you're going through anything and you want God to move it fast forget about what you are going through and look on the needs of others and begin to bring somebody this problem before God and watch God work it out for you it's a different kickle of fish Messiah. God is looking for the greatest ones that the earth will ever see. We want the warriors. Show your head back. Open your mouth. Holy Spirit. God call her great faith. 
God says she carries great faith. I wonder what is God saying about yours tonight? Come on, somebody, ask your neighbor, what is God saying? about your faith tonight God give me a word for the church of the living God and God says son when you go over there you tell them while they are sleeping I am searching you tell my people when you gone to your bed I am searching the heart of men mm -hmm. in Ezekiel 22 and verse 30 it goes something like this God says to the prophet Ezekiel I sought for a man, a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before the land that I should not destroy it but I found none Therefore, have I poured out my indignation upon them, and I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed them, their recompense upon their heads, say the Lord. Touch your neighbor and your neighbor. God says he's looking for a gap stander, one who will stand in the gap. In those days, you know, every city have walls around the city so that the enemies can't come in and destroy the city. But when walls are around the cities, after a while, there are some broken down walls. After a while, the walls have holes. After a while, the walls have breaches. And so what the government, the prime minister, the president, the king would do? The king would look for the most violent, the most strong and powerful soldiers. He will look for those who are called snipers and he would put them in the breach. He would put them in the gap. He would put them in the hole. The broken down holes. He would put his greatest and baddest soldiers so that if the enemy try to come in through the breach they will be there to make sure the enemy don't come in and so God said to Ezekiel there are some broken down walls in some people life there are some broken down walls like you have some people turn their backs on God and they are doing some things that deserve death uh -huh. and the judgment of God is about to destroy them God said I'm looking for a gap stand one who don't judge one who don't condemn one who see the faults one who see the person's sin and don't condemn them but will stand in the gap and breach the wall and pray for the person you mean somebody that is sick and can pray for themselves four degree cancer somebody in ICU and want somebody to pray but they can't pray God is looking for some gap standers who will not look who will not act like the apostles whose sin is mother sin or their sin they would not ask that they would ask what can I do well I come to tell you what to be a gap stander be a light by praying who am I talking to Israel was coming out of Egypt 
God deliver Israel. And Israel was coming out of Egypt. Israel experienced the glory of God. God part the Red Sea. And Israel experienced a mighty move. And because of the great breakthrough, Israel turned away. Israel blasphemed. Moses was on the mountain. He was seeking God for 40 days and 40 nights. And Israel strayed. And Israel began to worship idols. Begin to worship the golden calf. And begin to dance and drink revel and have sex. And God said, I'm going to kill them. God said, I'm going to destroy them. And I'm going to raise up a nation out of you, Moses. But the Bible psalmist say that Moses prayed. He's standing in the gap and say God please I know they deserve death God please but don't kill them it was over 2 million God was going to kill but because one Capstander was there praying on Israel's behalf. Israel is still around. You better reach your neighbor and say, Neighbor, what can you do? You can save a nation. You can save a king. You can save a president or a prime minister. You can. If you learn. How to pray? Come on, slap your neighbor, say neighbor. I need one person to be always praying for me. Come on, no man. Tell the neighbor, I need one person to be always praying for me. Come on, one, just one. If you can find one real person who is always praying for you, mm-hmm, and they will bless. Mm, untimely death from your life one shall chase a thousand but two shall put ten thousand to flight you are ten times more powerful when one person is praying with you come on reach your neighbor give them your right hand shake it like you want to shake it off and say neighbor my good neighbor here is a hand here is one person that is in prayer for you you can count on me tonight i'm praying for you i know the devil don't like you i'm praying for you i know you have some enemies i'm praying for you i know friends i mean friend enemies come on i'm praying for you come on come on come on tell the neighbor don't let me die i'm depending on you to pray for me kind of flood a little bit too tight we need more job standards in the church too much murmurers too much complainers too much condemners too much judgmental christians we need more gap standards in the church can i find 10 gap standards in king jesus pentecostal fellowship i'm coming down now bishop in acts chapter 12 the bible says that peter and james the bible said herod 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 heard of the move heard of the move of the church and how the church is multiplying and how the church is growing non-stop and herod says i'm gonna kill the leaders of the church the bible said herod arrest james kill james and after herod kill james he arrest peter throw peter into prison and said tomorrow i am going to kill peter he put peter into the inner prison put shackles on his hands 
shackles on his feet and put 16 soldiers to guard Peter the Bible said when the church heard the church gathered together in John's Mark house they were praying without season who am I preaching to who am I preaching to I said they were praying without season and the Bible said that night oh shy touch your neighbor say neighbor prayer night man tell your neighbor prayer night get up your hours in the night and pray I come to call gap standards some of you the reason why insomnia fight you let me preach it over this side the reason why you can't sleep is because your prayer life is not on when you can't sleep, I gotta send you a message. You need to handle your business. Get up in the way hours of night and pray. It was in the hours of the night. The church was praying. And while the church was praying, I heard that an angel, I personally believe it was Michael. I don't put names to angels, but I know why. I know why. Because the reason why I believe that it was Michael is because Michael was given as the chief angel, the ark for Israel. And he's given to the church. So Peter was the one with the key for the church. So I personally believe Michael was assigned to Peter. You're not coming with me, you know. You're not coming with me. And so now, watch this. The church was praying without season. And all of a sudden, the angel of the Lord went into the inner prison. The guards were sleeping. That means it was late hours of the night. Because security don't sleep early. Slap two people and tell them, leave us alone. Leave this church alone. While you are sleeping, we are working. Where is the worshippers? While every other building lock up on a gun on a bed, leave we alone. We are interceding. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of flat. God have you have a church. God have you have one when I watch time like Uno. So leave us alone. Slap cheap people tell them, leave us alone, man. Leave us alone. While you are asleep, we are standing the gap. And a word of unclean spirit of you. Oh, Shia, watch me now. The guards were asleep. And the Bible said that the angel stepped in. The door being shut. And guess who was asleep to? Peter, Peter fast. Tell man, say, oh, as the man. A oh, as man. Tell somebody, say, oh, as. A late, oh, as man. Say, man, I draw some bungy. And the angel come and smooth him and say, get up. And when the angel say, get up, chain fall, slap your neighbor, say, every handcuffs. <laughs> Everyone in here. I say, every handcuff in here. Shire. Shake it up. Every chain pound foot. Shake it up. Foot cuff. Shake it up. Get up. Freedom time. Get up, Peter. Walk out. The Bible said he walked past the first gate where the 14 soldiers are. Then he go out to the big gate. And when he reach at the big gate, at the first remote gate, touch your neighbor said, Acts chapter 12. Tell him, tell him about Peter first experience remote gate. Come on, no man, slap two people and tell him about Peter first, man. We experience remote gate. I don't want them with that airport, you know. You know, when you reach one at the airport, you walk. What man is on a card? The Bible says when Peter reached that large, big gate, he just opened his own card and Peter just walk. Slap your neighbor, say, my time now. Angela escort me. And me are walking a freedom. Me are walking a power. Me are walking a glory. Me are walking a overflow. 
Oh, Shia, walk out of bondage. Walk out of bondage. Shia, who am I preaching to? 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 Walk out. I said, get up and walk out. That relationship is not good for you. Walk out. Those company are not good for you. Walk out. God never put them in a business. They walk out. That job is not yours. Walk. My God, I feel a shift. 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 Shia, touch two people and tell them you need a gap standard in your life. Tell two people you need somebody that will always pray for you. Come on, tell somebody you need a gap standard in your life. You see, Peter was not praying for himself. He was asleep. Probably he was too discouraged at the moment. Probably he was too sad at the moment. Uh, he wasn't praying for himself. But somebody was standing in the gap for Peter. What are you coming here to say to the people of God, Bishop? I stop by to tell you when you read this account, you see that there is no place in this account where anybody was praying for James. Come on, somebody. There is no place in this account that there was somebody praying for James. Probably, perhaps if somebody was praying for James, then Herod would not get to kill him. Who am I talking to? Perhaps if fire was over James, then the angels would stop Herod in the track. Shayabasa. But it is recorded in this text that prayer was made for Peter without season. Who am I preaching to? I want you to find three people and tell them don't let there be a James in your life. Oh, shut Oh, don't let be a James don't let a James be in your life don't let that family member be a James don't let that friend be a James don't let that church sister be a James come on who am I preaching to who am I preaching to who am I preaching to drag two people one more time and say neighbor I come here to tell you that you are a Peter in my life. Come on, warriors. I am praying for you. I know the devil wants to stop you, but I'm praying for you. The devil wants to kill you before your time, but I'm interceding for you. I'm praying on your behalf and God call my prayer great feet. Who am I preaching to? You better throw your head back. Open your mouth. Push back the attack. Open your mouth. I say open your mouth and shout hallelujah. Shout glory hallelujah. Shout glory hallelujah. Paul put it like this when he was speaking to the church of Galatia he said to the Galatian virgin you must bear one another burden and so fulfill the law of Christ so touch your neighbor say I'm responsible for you and you are responsible for me I'm gonna watch your back while you watch mine who am I talking to Paul to put on the whole armor of God that you may able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. He said, put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, put on the shoes of peace, put on the belt of truth, put on the shield of faith with the sword of the spirit. But he tell us nothing about the back. Everything is for the front. But he didn't give us nothing for the back. 
So two things you must never turn your back to the enemy. Oh, shy. But then reach your neighbor, say neighbor. There are times when the enemy will circle you and come behind you. And when the enemy is behind you, you need somebody to watch your back. You need a gap stander. I don't care how powerful you are. Paul said, pray for me that I may have boldness. We need one another to survive in this season. Hold on to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am a gap stander. I am proud. For you, somebody better open your mouth, show your head back, shout again, shout one more praise, shout one more, shout one more, shout one more praise. Hold that hand. I want you in the pairs of twos tonight. Not three twos. Whatever two agreed on. Jesus never sent out his apostles one by one. He sent them out two by two. Shia. This is the year of twos. It's a season of twos. 20, 24 is the years of twos. Twos. Somebody say twos. Shia. Two. Two, four. Two, two. Is the year of twos. Squeeze that hand. He sent them out two by two. You need somebody that will stand with you in prayer. Shia, squeeze that hand. I come here with a word from God. When you are praying for somebody, you are not just sending up wishes. When you are praying for somebody, you are not just saying, have good luck. Squeeze that hand, let them feel you. Prayer! Move the hand of the one that ruled the world. Squeeze that hand. Shayabasa. Prayer cause is God. The God that makes the universe. To make things happen. That you could not have done. By yourself. Squeeze that hand. Prior, prior, if you walk into this house tonight with nothing else on your mind that I want God to move in my spirit. I want God to bless me. I want God to move. If you come tonight to receive a blessing and believe with expectation, and if you stretch your faith tonight that I am not living here the same way I came oh God and that I'm receiving a greater connection and I'm receiving a greater walk with God that when I walk out of this place tonight I can walk into a devil's world tomorrow and tell the devil let the world know I have received a blessing from the Lord I don't want to come here in bondage tonight 
and leave out your bound. I don't want to come in here tonight sick and leave out your sick. I don't want to come in here tonight. Come on, need deliverance and leave out here. Come on, the same way I came. I don't want to come in here tonight. Oh, depression and leave out here with depression. I want to leave here different than how I came in this house. When I leave out of this house tonight, I want God to say, There goes great faith. Shia. Come on, when I leave out here, I want God to say, see, there is great faith. I want God to say, go gap stander, go and stand in the gap, because you carry great faith. Squeeze that hand. Squeeze that hand. Not everybody that comes to church comes to church to see God. Not everybody that comes to church come to church and receive God. Not everybody that comes to church come to church and receive and move from God. Uh, but God said, tell my people, if you ever lift your faith tonight, God shall show up in your life and give you a mighty turnaround. Come on, if you ever open your mouth in prayer tonight, what is prayer? What is prayer? Prayer is faith. Bringing needs to Jesus. What is that? Faith is one coming to Jesus with confidence in Jesus and confidence in what he can do. Shia, prayer is the tool that moves God's hands. Prayer! Prayer! Prayer and faith. Faith is confidence in him and what he can do. I wonder if there's anybody in here believe that God can do the impossible for you tonight. I wonder if there is somebody in here that come here with a need and know only God can fix my need. Where there are needs, there is a drive for prayer warriors. Shayabasa needs is the vehicle for a gap stander. When a gap stander see needs, he take needs. Take it up in confidence and bring it to Jesus. Shaya. Ayabasaya. Shanda Basaya. And when the gap stand up, bring the needs. Heaven stands still. God ears are open. God eyes are open. God heart is ready to move with compassion. Come on and God call it great faith. Mm. The centurion, the centurion, the centurion, the centurion, the centurion, he carries great faith. The centurion have a servant, he have a slave, and the slave was sick with palsy. The servant was grievously sick. Oh, Shia. The centurion was rich. The centurion have a thousand, have 100 people working for him. He have 100 soldiers working under him. The centurion have the slave that was working for him. In that time, in Bible time, a servant, a slave, 
is like a little puppy dog. When you have one slave, and if the slave gets sick, or the slave not functioning right, you just bore the slave ears, put a piece of money in your hand, and send him away. But something about this centurion, this centurion didn't see the slave as nothing. This centurion carried great compassion. This centurion said, I hear about Jesus. He is the healer. He is the deliverer. I'm going to Jesus. I'm not going on my own behalf. I'm bringing my slave. I don't got to carry him physically. If I can carry my slave in the spirit to Jesus. Jesus can deliver. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? The man jump on his horse. Right over to Capernaum. The crowd was thick. But he passed everybody. And he went to Jesus. And he said, Master. He said, Lord. It blows my mind. Because here come one more sinner. One Roman. One who is out of covenant. And here come this one now. This one. Come before God again. And he called him Lord again. Oh, Shia, you better touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't write off nobody. Come on, tell anybody, don't you write off nobody. Don't write off anybody. Because the person you think is nobody might carry a fate that you don't know. They might not be in covenant now. But be careful how you write off people. You better hold that hand and squeeze it. And say, make sure you carry that person to Jesus. For Jesus can fix any situation. Who am I talking to? And man cry out and beseech him saying Lord my servant lieth at home sick with palsy and he's grievous and tormented in other words the servant a buckle he's baffling for life he's struggling the servant don't want to give up the servant have a fate and the master know the fate of the servant and the master say I'm going into the one who can fix my servant who am I talking to who am I talking to no Jesus being the Lord of all he said to the man man centurion I'm coming to your house to heal him the centurion opened his mouth and answer again he never said master he never said teacher he said Lord oh shire in other words he was acknowledging Jesus as the Messiah he was acknowledging Jesus as the king of Israel he was acknowledging Jesus as the savior he was acknowledging Jesus as God where is the worshippers in here come on in here and he said lord i am not worthy that i that you should come under my roof now let me tell you something about this man let me tell you something about this man we attack this man is a roman soldier but he's not an ordinary soldier he's a centurion century centurion 100 soldier and him control 100 soldier now when you work for Rome you know, Rome take care of you, you know, man. where is the worshippers in here when you work for Rome you know, man, you're rich you know. where is the worshippers so this man our rich man and in a theme house 100 Soldier guarding house. So touch your neighbor, son, no, five bedroom. Now ten bedroom. That man house is a mansion. 
And the first thing the man said, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come in at a mansion there. Because fear mansion. Where is the worship as in here? It's kind of flat, man. Squeeze that hand. We're not breaking it up. Squeeze that hand. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Oh, Shia Basa. Then he explained why Jesus should speak the word. He said, for I am a man under authority. I'm not going into all of that tonight. And I have been soldiers under me. So he's saying, I am a man that Herod is over. And anything Herod tells me to do, I do. But Herod put me over some people. And anytime I open my mouth, they got to do what I say. When I say one go, they go. When I say one come, they come. He said, I understand what is authority. Because I am a man of authority. I know you. You are Lord of all. You are not from here. You are from another country. And in your country, you have your army. And your army is not a physical army. You have Michael and Gabriel and Raphael. You have cherubims and seraphims under you. And if you just open your mouth and say a word, angels are gone to do what you say. So you don't need to come to my house. Shake that hand and say, I don't need to come up to your house. I want some kingdom folks. Uh, um, you better shake that hand and say, I don't need to come to your house. You know. Who am I preaching to? I don't need to come to the hospital. You know. Come on, I don't need to come to the embassy. You know. I don't need to come into your community. You know. All I need to do is just speak the word. And he will give his angels charge to do the words. To do what I say. Because I am a man under authority. He's over me. And he give his angels charge under me. So when I speak what he say, then the angels will do it. I don't talk on my own baby. I only say what he tell me to say. And anytime God tell me to say it, and I say it, angels are gone to do it. Squeeze that hand. He said, you don't need to come to my house because my servant is right here. I left him in the physical at home, but I take him in the spirit before you. So all you need to do is speak over this man and bring him here. You don't need to go home because you're already at the house. You are everywhere. So I don't need to bring my servant because I'm a gap stander. And gap standers take problems, needs, and bring it to the high priest. Squeeze that hand. Squeeze that hand. I'm going in. The reason why I am who I am because I understand my office. The reason why the devil can't kill me is because I understand my office. I know who I am. I am a gap stander. I have a faith that knows that I can touch Jesus on your behalf. I carry a faith. I know that when you don't deserve it, I can ask God for one more chance. All when you messed up like Israel, I can stand in the gap and say, Lord, if you kill him, then the enemies are going to laugh and say, you were not able to take him over. 
on the other side. And God will hear me because I am a gap stander. Who am I preaching to squeeze that hand? We need more gap standers. We need more gap standers. Are you coming with me in here? Squeeze that hand because God tell me something and I'm under strict commandment. Squeeze that hand. Let them feel you. You are not alone. Tell them you are not alone. Shia, you will not be a James. You are Peter. I'm praying for you. I'm bringing your name to heaven. I'm bringing your name. You're not going to die. I'm bringing a name to heaven. The enemy won't get you out. The sickness won't get you out. I'm praying for you. I'm presenting you before the throne of God. I'm standing on your behalf. I'm praying for you. Pray and move the hand of God in the earth. Shanda, yeah, Messiah, Shaya Baba Basa. You better squeeze that hand in this house. Come on, you better squeeze that hand in this house. When you have a gap stand, when your parents praying for you, come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. You see, I have somebody in my life where I never stop pray for. Come on, there's a young man living in Australia. I said, there is a young man living in Australia. His name is Ainsley Spence. As long as I have breath in my body, I will never cease praying for him. I always pray for Brother Spence. Because when I was a dancer, when I was roaming the road, Brother Spence was always praying for me. Sometime he will see me walking on the street and he will say, Baker, you know, say God, I gotta use you powerful. He would say, Boy, you see, if you ever come in a church, God, I gotta use you, you know, because I know you. I mean, no, say, if God get a person like you, God, I gotta use you. He's always releasing a word over me. Come on, he was my gift standard. No, I'm not out, I'm in. Uh huh, and now he is out, and I will never stop praying for him because brother spent. Brother Ainsley Spence, wherever you are right now, you have somebody praying for you. Bishop Winston George Baker will continue to put you before God to ward off every unclean spirit, to drive back sickness and disease, to cut down every principality and powers, every debt, every sudden debt, every untimely debt. I am here standing in the gap for you. Open your mouth Shout again Open your mouth Somebody say you need somebody to pray for you You need somebody to pray for you Parents don't stop praying For your children Even the weird world wants Don't stop praying for them I will never cease Praying for my children I pray every morning before I close my eyes I call each of my children name I call them before God I say God will marry remember him I call every name and I said, God, for the work that I'm doing for you, I'm begging you, please, cover them from sudden death. Hide them from the works of the enemy. Please, God, please, Holy Spirit, hide them under your blood. Is there anybody in here? Where are the parents that pray for their children? Even the ones that are speaking evil, the ones that are fighting, the ones that hate you. Pray! The Bible said David died. And after David died, Solomon 
Solomon begin to walk wayward and God says I'm going to take away the kingdom out of your hand because you're gone astray but God said I remember my servant David and just because of my servant David I will not take Judah away from you in other words if you pray for your children even after you die and gone your blessings will stand upon them God will remember them your grandchildren your great grandchildren God will remember them because of you who am I preaching to God stand up Come on, job standers. Come on, job standers. Take two minutes and cover your children right now. Shia. Shanda. Shia. While you're in church worship, worshiping and praising God, even though they're in a club, even though they might be in a prostitution, whatever they are in, pray. 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 Shaya Yamasa Yamasa Come on great faith Come on great faith Come on great faith They don't have to be here for you to pray for them Come on great faith Come on great faith They don't have to be here physically For you to put them before God That's great faith What me about up me a mouth Shanda God I have not seen such great faith in Israel one that can come and carry somebody in the spirit and say God you don't have, don't got to bring them physically the Bible said the same hour the servant was he and I don't let go that hand and put it before God. Shia. Shanda. As a gap stander for the King Jesus. Pentecostal fellowship. As a prayer warrior. As one who God teach to walk and pray. One who God teach to whisper prayer. He teach me all kinds of prayer and supplications. As a gap stander, I'm under strict command. God says, son, I want you to take these. These are the names. Shia. These are the names of the persons who constantly sow their tithes in the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. God says, son, take these names, keep them at your bedhead and pray over them. Be their gap standers. I'm here to talk to those who constantly sow your tithes, sow your offering in the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. Your connection is firm. There is somebody constantly putting you before God. And God says, there is a covenant agreement. God said, those who continue to sow your tithes and your offering, he said, I know never change. He said I'm going to deal with these seven kinds of people for you. I come declaring and decreeing that God's judgment because you sow your tithes and offering his promise is that I will come near unto you and I will judge be a judge swift against sorcerers. Oh, Shia. 
those who sow your tithes and your offering as a gap stand that speak over your life God says he's coming swift against them that throw sorcery against you you better open your mouth as I decree and declare swift judgment against them that throw sorcery against you open your mouth and plead the blood come on in here come on in here he said i am coming against the adulterers every one of you that saw your tithes and your offering and the third person want to come in your marriage uh-huh somebody want to sleep with your wife or somebody want to mess with your husband god's a swift judgment i release it i declare nobody can touch your wife i declare nobody can touch your husband swift judgment Open your mouth. 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 Judgment against those who want to commit adultery with your husband. Those who want to mess with your wife. Somebody says swift judgment. God said judgment against false us. Where is the worshippers? Say so people them are lie on you. Oh shia. The people them gonna stop hide behind your back and tell lie on you. Shia Basaya. God said, tell my people that you are my capstander. You are praying and I'm going to release judgment on the people who is lying on you behind your back, gossiping on you, speaking evil and lie over you. They are false swearers. Somebody said, judgment, 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 judgment. Somebody plead the blood. Open your mouth. Come on, come on, come on. Then he said, He is releasing judgment against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. So God said, If any man are worker, anybody I work for, and they are under peer you. God said, judgment, a shift is going to take place. And them have to pay you up. Shanda. For all the under peer, who am I preaching to? Somebody better take your hand up in the ear again. Come on, your gap stander is praying. Come on, those that hire you shall pay you right. Somebody said, pay me right. Stretch out your right hand and receive it now. Somebody receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Right hand in the air. If you are sowing your tithes and your offering and your husband die, you are a widow. God says, I'm going to take care of you. All the widows show your hand in the air right now. Because God says, he's going to open some doors that no man can shut. Open your mouth, warriors, and say something. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and shut back. Lift that hand again. He said, if your father die, it means you are fatherless. Is there anybody in here that loses their father? He said, I'm going to become your father. Shy, I'm going to be more than an earthly father to you. I'm going to be your heavenly father. Lift your hand and take it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, open your mouth and shout. He's my inheritance. Open your mouth and shout. He become my backlogs. Open your mouth and shout. He's now my elder boy. Open your mouth and shout. Shia Basa. 
I'm about to go to the last one. Hands in the air. I'm going to the last one. Hands in the air. Shaya Basa. Shaya. Those of you, those of you, those of you who are working for people, you are like a stranger. Nothing just not going on for you. You sow your tides and it just seems as if it's just still hand to mouth. You sow your tides and your offering and it just seems as if nothing not breaking for you. God said, fear not, say the Lord. I am going to open the windows of heaven and I'm going to pour you out a blessing that you cannot contain. If I'm preaching to you now, I want you to take it. Shia, this is the season when God is going to turn the table around. This is the season when the borrower shall become the lender. This is the season when the tail shall become the head. This is the season when the last shall become the first. This is the turnaround season. Hands in the ear now get ready. Hands in the ear now get ready. Hands in the ear now get ready to receive a turnaround. One, two, three, Jesus! One, two, three. Jesus! One, two, three! Grab stand up! Grab stand up! One, two, three! Grab stand up! One, two, three! Grab stand up! One, two, three! Grab stand up! Grab stand up! That's it now! That's it now! That's it now! Find somebody and tell them I'm your grab stand up! I am your gap stander. Tell them I am your gap stander. And I prophesy over you that you are the head. I prophesy over you that you are above. You are the lender. I prophesy a breakthrough. I prophesy that your closed doors are swing open before you right Stand up, pull them through it. Pull them through the open door. I said, pull them through. 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 Pull them through. We said, I hold the keys of David. And when I open a door, can no man shut. Somebody go to the next level right now. Walk in the land of overflow. Walk over in the land of more than enough. Walk over in the land that flow. Hallelujah. Walk, 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 walk. Walk in the land of overflow. Walk, 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 walk. Step out, step out, step out. Shaya, Hallelujah, Yeah, Messiah. Shanda. Yeah, my Messiah. Shanda, Messiah. Yeah, my Messiah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop where you are and look right at me. Stop where you are. Look in my direction right now. Right where you are. Listen to me. Look in my eyes. God says, even from the days of your fathers, you have gone astray from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me. And I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. 
But you said, we are in, shall we return? Then God said, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, we are in, have we robbed thee? And God said, you have robbed me in tithes and offering. And he said, because of that, these curses that I mentioned a while ago, they come and they attack you. Witchcraft, liars. All of them attack you. God said they come in your family. They trouble your marriage. They attack you from all angles. And you wonder how can I be a child of God. And I am under this attack. God said return unto me. Because you robbed me. He said the whole nation is guilty. House, bring all the tithes into my storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now where we say the Lord of hosts if I will not open you the windows of heaven mm -hmm. God tell me this God says son the season is changed he said when you go over there there are some people that leave their house with a seed when they were leaving they sense that a new season is here again and they put a seed in their purse, in their wallet, in their pocket. And say, so when I come to church, I'm going to sow this as a seed. God said, come now. Specific. Oh, Shia, let me see how much was here in what God says. Shia. Shanda Shia Shia Messiah. Who am I preaching to? You don't hear what I say? You 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 hear what I say? Somebody, the service not finished. The service is not done yet. There are more than one dimension in church. Warriors, get ready, open your mouth. Warriors, open your mouth. Warriors, open your mouth if you're under strict instruction. If you're under strict instruction, open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and say something. God said, bring it all into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it somebody open your mouth in here to receive it and then this is what God says now this is what God says now God said I will rebuke the devourer for your sake we are the warriors in here Elder Mullins, shake my hand a little bit hard. You know why I shake your hand? I am your gap stander, sir. And you see, when your wife is under attack in her health, as a gap stander, when I pray for Elder Mullins, I pick up the attack and I command every warfare in the body to back up. I wonder if 10 people in here believe and understand that when you're a gap stander, you see what's happening in the spirit. You don't need a person physically. You pick up what is going on and you bring it to daddy. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth and say he will be rebuked. Did you follow? Somebody says you're rebuking everything now. Throw your head back, stand up again, pull up your neighbor again. Pull your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, tonight God says, repent, return, ask for forgiveness, for if you thief got money, there are some devourers that have legal ground to attack your wealth, to attack your health your influence but a season is changed and God say a new thing 
shall I do? Return unto me, and I will return unto you. He said, I will rebuke the devourers for your sake, and they will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field say the Lord of hosts hold that hand hold that hand God say there are some demons named devourer squeeze that hand God said these demons how they operate they destroy the works of your hand Anything you put your hand to, that them fight. Any business you start, any job you start, anything you do for them, for you have money, that's what they attack. Squeeze that hand. This is how these demons operate. They will try, they will give one, you forget one, force ripe harvest. Squeeze that hand and say, I don't want a harvest before the time. A harvest before the time is like that boy. The prodigal son that get him blessing before time. And if you get it before time, everything is off. You don't hear me? If you get your blessing before time, everything is off. Because blessing come, a true blessing is when everything is in line. Just imagine God will give you one nice car on the road another day. Just imagine God give you one nice high-end vehicle on the street. No car can drive on you, only donkey can. Oh, touch your neighbor. So when God is giving you, he's putting everything in place. Where is the worshipers? Demons will fight you for your try force ripe. If the mango force ripe, the mango can't have a good harvest. Come on, squeeze that hand. Squeeze that hand and declare it. Declare it in this house. Gap stand and squeeze your neighbor hand and tell them you will not cast your vine before it's time. Your fruit will be right and time. Your blessing will come right and time. Your breakthrough will come right on time. Squeeze that hand and ask your neighbor, what is the purpose of me getting a husband when I can't manage? Me get a husband after one year and ask for divorce. Come on, tell your neighbor there's no point in that. That's not a blessing. Oh, tell your neighbor, what, when, you, when you are ready for the husband, and God bring your husband to you because your husband is ready for you. Then you live out a lifetime together. And then the Bible said the blessing of God make rich and hard no sorrow. Huh? Squeeze that hand. Feel it in this house. Squeeze that hand. Stop, thief. Give God what is his and watch God defeat the devourer, drive them to a far country. Squeeze that hand now. Squeeze that hand. And God say, when you do this thing, all nation shall call you blessed. You shall be a delightsome land. If you are ready for this, squeeze that hand. We're going in one more time. We're ready now. We're going in. We're ready now. We are going in. We are ready. I see this. The young man that serves me, he used to serve. He's a good server. That young man, he's special. I mean, my car. When people see my car, it's not like now sometimes people will see my car and say, Bishop, your car won't wash. 
when that young man was around the house. All when the car no one wash. Wash. And he always washed the car and said, God, I need one car. And he asked and asked and asked. And he asked me one day and I tell him that you're not ready for it, but if you force God in with gear. He get it. Squeeze that hand and tell the neighbor, God will give it to you. But don't worry if him take it back in with gear again. Don't worry. Where is the worshippers? Shaya basa. You don't read it. The Lord give it and he take it. Squeeze that hand, squeeze that hand, squeeze that hand, squeeze that hand. Shaya. So he, he asked and he got the car. When he got the car, I began to give him instructions how to deal with the car. He didn't listen. He did his own thing. I said, when you're driving, don't drive 120. You just start drive, drive 40. Then when you use the 40, you go 60. Wait until you can manage 60 before. And I teach him how to manage 60. I said, when you're driving, when you're doing 40, and then you realize that you're continuing, for, but when you look, you're going to 60. That means you don't understand 40 yet. When you're driving, press gas and you know how to just continue upon 40. Yes, and you know if you slow down every minute, that means you understand 40. I said, when you reach 60, you must know if you, can, and can't, if you can control 60. When you drive and you can stay upon 60 and you know if you press brake every minute because you're going too far fast, that means you understand 60. I said, you take your time and move up. And I was saying it to the young man, you know. And while I was saying it to him, he was saying at the same time in his mind, let Bishop go and chat. I who are drive 40. Huh? He said, what? What Bishop attacks you? You think Bishop thinks a 40 are driving? And he drive. Left that day. He drive. The same hour. Drive 150. Flip the car over. Write it off. Squeeze that hand. I'm talking to you. It was a blessing before its time. But because he was connected to the source, he could receive it. And when he was not ready for it. Oh, daddy, I'm ready. Daddy said, you're not ready. Me want it. All right, take it. It weighs. Squeeze that hand. Squeeze that hand. Where are the worshippers? Squeeze that hand. Shaya Basa, what are you saying tonight, Bishop? He lost the car. Not even to get no money for it. Insurance, I'm not responsible for it. He lost the car. But because he remained in God. Because he stayed with God. I live to see the brother. Send me a picture. With a car like that. Again. This time he said, Bishop. Look at this car, sir. Do you think I am ready for one now? Then he said, Bishop, I would never it. If you don't say it's time, squeeze that hand. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't want it until I'm ready for it. Squeeze that hand. I don't want that husband until I'm ready for him. I don't want that wife until I'm ready for her. I don't want that breakthrough until the time. Because when it's the right time, nations shall call me blessed. Squeeze that hand. I'm talking to you. Shia, is there anybody in here feel like it's your time now? Is there anybody in this house feel like it's your time now? It's due season. If you feel like it's your time, we're going up to take it by force. If it's yours, your name is on it. And it is already released in the realm of the spirit. All you need to do is go over there and take it. It's yours. One. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.
stand ahead, somebody. Grab stand ahead, somebody. Grab stand ahead, somebody. I release your prayer through over you now. As you grab stand, I call your season open. Shire, somebody blow the trumpet. Sound the alarm. A new season. Sound the alarm. Blow the sofa. A new season. Shubili. Shanda. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa Sam. Walk over now. Walk over in your season. Walk over in your season. Walk over in your season. Shaya. Shanda. Yeah, Messiah. Up me about and shout. Up me about and shout. Up me about and praise God Almighty. Up me about and lift Jesus higher. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh my God, it's your season. Yes, sir. Great faith. I said, Great faith. Somebody said, Great faith. Declare great faith. Somebody declare great faith. Somebody show great. Somebody show great faith. Great faith. Hallelujah. Great faith. Great faith. Help me a mount. Great faith. Somebody say great faith. Hey, great faith. If you have faith, as small as this mustard seed. Oh, Shia. I heard Elder Mullins said, Bishop, somebody said to me, I get a bag that is empty. There is nothing in the bag. So I need another bag. But while she was looking keenly, the mustard seed was there. But it is so small that it's hard to be seen. Tonight I declare, if your faith is small as this mustard seed. So now I'm handing it to you first. This is your second one, huh? I'm handing it to you because your son, your daughter, your son, sorry, your son was sick in the hospital. String up. Oh, Shia Basa. Your son was in the hospital and your son could not come and you and your wife to be come by faith Shaya Basa the, the baby the doctor said that this baby will never be able to eat on its own and that the baby is going to be retarded. And the baby will become an handicap. But faith. Hallelujah. Say no. I had a video with the baby mother 
telling the doctor that my baby is going to be okay they thought she was mad she testified i have it on video she testified that bishop while i was in icu icu with the baby i saw a light came in the room and the bishop i know it was an angel of the lord oh jesus where is the believers in here us in here now the baby is in church today the baby is sucking breast on her own huh drinking battle on her own Hallelujah. who am i talking to the baby no need don't need a troop to think no more and the baby's not retarded the baby's in his right mind you better open your mouth declare if I have faith as some more as a mustard seed I can talk to this mountain watch your mountain that was their mountain watch your mountain that was their mountain watch your mountain I dare you tonight to open your mouth by faith and command your mountain be broke up be root out and be cast into the midst. Somebody better pluck it up right now. Who tell you won't go marry? You're not gonna marry. Pluck up that. Who tell you you have diabetes? Pluck up that. Who tell you you will have high blood pressure until you die? I said root it out. Who am I preaching to? Who tell you, you will never learn to read and write until you die. It I said, pluck it up. It up. Root it out. And send it into the deep. Where are the believers in here? I don't know what is your mountain. But open your mouth. Mountain. And speak to your mountain tonight. Mountain. Who tell you you can't have a baby boy? Who tell you you can't get pregnant? Pluck it up now. Root it out. Mountain. 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 Get out of my way. Open your mouth. Start. Come with the baby. Come with the baby. Come with the baby. Somebody up your mouth, man. Up your mouth, man. Mustard seed up your mouth, man. Mustard seed fit up your mouth, man. So the baby middle name is Miracle, huh? Because the baby is a miracle. All right, this this this, this you get your your mustard seed from yesterday. Well, this one belongs to Miracle. Where is the worshiper? Somebody say something. Up your mouth and shout a glory. Up your mouth and shout a glory, hallelujah. hallelujah Jesus, glory. Now, the next book, the next book is called, watch there, show Ella, uh, uh, Evangelist Black. Look at that, miracle hole, the, 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 the mustard seed. Where is the worshippers? Where is the worshippers? Something warriors. The next book is called the book of testimonies. Somebody said the next book, next book is called the book of testimonies. Book of testimonies. And this testimony yes. shall be in the book. Hallelujah. Your picture, your picture and miracle picture will be in the book. We are show your head back, no man. Glory Say something, no man. Glory it's kind of a little bit too flat, no man. Show your head back. Shout a glory hallelujah. glory, hallelujah. Now, we're moving over now. You're going to come. Those of you do, that, 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 that does not have your mustard seed, you're going to come for your mustard seed now. You do, that doesn't have, you're going to come first. 
Shaya, hear me now. Remember the 1st of April is the book, book launch. It will be at Sean Lavery. Sean Lavery. Now, there's a little controversy going around. A little, you know? the, the cost of the book. You don't see it? Cost of the book. Don't, don't, don't get a little bit too. This is how the cost of the book goes. So we have two. We have the VIP era. The VIP era is at the top of there. And in the, those who are at the VIP era, you're going to get a book and a Winston Royal shirt. Come on, somebody, so you're getting a book and a Winston Royal. And so that's for the VIP. The VIP is $10,000. Tell somebody, say, it is for a good cause. Good cause. Come on, tell somebody it's for a good cause. For a good cause. Hallelujah. And then you have the ordinary $5,000 for the book. Yes, sir. And you will get a little soup near too. Yes, sir. And the, all the books will sign. Touch your neighbor's neighbor. Amen. Make sure you purchase a book. Now, now, that's not different from cost to come in. Tell somebody no cost to come in. Cost to come in. Tell them that it's your, your book that will take you in. Yeah. Come on, tell your neighbor. Say, tell your neighbor. Say, so that means say, when you buy one book, you support the bishop and you support yes. what you do. Come on, tell your neighbor. Touch somebody, tell them, say, so buy a book and don't make no devil talk to you. Yes. When I charge nobody, come just on. buy a book and support the thing. Come on, man. Clap your hands and give God a praise, man. It's kind of a little bit flat. And, and and we have some we have some persons coming to we have we not just have book signing but I think I think Kevin not no Kevin I think German supposed to come German Edward somebody up come out and say something man <laughs> Hallelujah and I'm mean, gonna check some big people and some when I say big people I mean some you know some singers are my friend and and let them come and with us huh come on wave your hand and say something man. Hallelujah. Because, because church don't really have nothing, you know. Church, we only come to church and worship. So we must can have something where, with us and in the building with it. We are worship. We are serve God, but you're just elegant. Come on, no man. Why you look at me like that? Oh, hallelujah. Let's go, Bishop. Yeah, some people are so nice dressed. That boy, they put it on a long time and want to wear. And they don't really have no way for wear it. Let's go. So you can wear your dress that night. Where is the worshipers, man? Clap your hands and give God a praise. And no, me, no, devil talk to you. Come in. Come in. Why am I getting me take so long to talk how much we have? People. Come in. No, what are go on? Me know say, what are going to start? Why am I go and fight? No, say, I'm go and fight. We are one family. If them don't want support, we support. Where is the flavors? Hallelujah. Come on, man. Clap your hands and give God one more shout in here. And I just release that funds in the name of Jesus Christ. I just release it. God, I give you. God, I release it to you. Where are the believers? I say, God, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Clap your hands and praise the name of God. Where are the believers in here? Hallelujah. So, when I know, when I show you, I shoot it, but we are shooting hard, you know. Tell your neighbor, say, we are going to shoot it. A bullseye, we are going to hit, you know. So it's either we are going to hit the rent or we are hit one coaster. But we are going to hit something. Where is the believers in here? Say something, no man. Come your mouth and clap your hands and give God a praise in here. Glory. Tell somebody we have hit one of the bullseye. A bullseye, you feel it. So the devil now get no victory. Clap your hands and praise God Almighty in here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By faith. Somebody say, mustard seed faith. Come on, somebody say, mustard seed faith. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus, come on, mustard seed faith. Mustard. Faith, faith, just a little bit of faith. faith come on, faith, warriors. Faith, just a little bit of faith. Faith, 
faith, faith, just a little bit of faith. Oh, you, you don't, don't need a lot. Just, just use, use what, what you got. got. Oh, faith, 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 just a little bit of faith. Faith, 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 just a little bit.
person that is not yet baptized. If you're here and you're not yet baptized in the name of Jesus, it's time to go to the water. The water is troubling you here and you're not saved. It's time to be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. If you're ready, come. Weep. 